myself hey guys welcome back to my channel um if you're new welcome to my channel um like comment subscribe take a look around my youtube channel um and if you're already a subscriber or already watched my videos then welcome back uh today i'll be doing a review on rpg hair um so yeah because i bought a wig back in like january so the wig that i've got um okay basically it comes like this it comes in a box cardboard box and it comes with a little leaflet flyer whatever you call it um sorry and obviously this is just some information and then um if you want to return or exchange you fill out the top part so yeah and then obviously you have your wig so the one that i got first of all is the 360 lace wig um it is remy no i remember now so it is the pre-plucked 360 um lace wig silky straight indian remy hair uh the code is lfw29 so the color is natural color the length is 14 inches hair density is 150 percent and the hair texture is straight so that's what's noted on top here so basically i'm going to explain the whole explain the whole story sorry i bought the indian yaki wig for 16 inches last month the start of january oh no it's march now what in january yeah um and basically when i got the wig i didn't really like it because as soon as i looked at it it looked like synthetic hair and i didn't pay my money for synthetic hair so yeah like okay well some people may say it's synthetic some people may not but me personally i thought that it was just synthetic or at least half synthetic or half human hair or maybe i just don't know about hair like that but the texture felt a bit rough it is yucky it was yucky hair so it is expected to be a bit more thicker and a bit more coarse however um i looked at the hair and it just didn't look like human hair like you can have thick yucky texture hair and i've worked with yucky texture hair as well like i have a wig of yucky texture human hair so i compared the both and i was thinking okay sometimes there may be a slight difference but there was a big difference between them so i wasn't very happy with that so um i did straighten it like just to see what it would be like and it did straighten but it still didn't seem like human hair to me because it the, it just didn't like the feel of it so me personally i wouldn't recommend that wig um yeah however i did exchange it but the thing is i cut the lace on that wig so i did exchange it but the thing is i had to pay a bit more because i already cut the lace like if you don't cut the lace then it's okay but i cut the lace um so i had to pay that wig was 98 pound um but i had to pay about 10 pounds shipping back um and then what was it yeah i had to pay okay you have to pay like a 30 dollar restocking fee but i ended up paying that's about like 20 something pound i don't know but i ended up paying about 10 pound um stocking fee no ten dollars which is like eight pounds something um and that was because obviously i cut the lace um the reason why i paid ten pound no yeah eight pound not ten dollars ten dollars eight pounds sorry um was because i ended up getting 14 inches because obviously the longer you get uh the more the hair will be um i don't know how to explain it but basically <coughs> because i got a shorter length i didn't have to pay as much uh stocking fee um, so yeah basically i exchanged it for this one and i'm happy with the texture um and everything like that hold on okay so obviously as soon as i took this out i knew it was human hair like i didn't have no ifs or buts about it like this is what it looks like 
it's obviously 360 so you have lace all around um it's soft um quite thick actually because it's 150 percent density um i like that it does say it's pre-plucked which i can see um i don't know if you can see properly but yeah it is kind of pre-plucked but i think i'm gonna go in and pluck a bit more but i'm not gonna lie i can't be bothered to pluck <laughs> oh my gosh yeah i can't be bothered to pluck but i'm gonna pluck because i don't want it to look fake 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 so you know um so yeah the things that i was going to say about this hair i've got on my phone literally because yeah it is 14 inches um so basically um the cost of this hair was okay my other wig was 98 pounds this one would have been probably i think if i didn't go through all that like exchange process and everything um i think it would have been probably round about the same price because the other wig, yeah the other wig was 16 inches this is 14 inches um so yeah the quality of the hair i'm happy with this like it's really good i'm gonna go ahead and straighten it after anyway and then try it on for you like and see how it looks um the delivery time okay so when i ordered my first wig the one that i exchanged um i ordered that january the first yeah that was a monday and then it came on the thursday so i was happy with that like everything was good um the delivery time i have no problem with um however when i basically i only got the wig like last week this one because about a week into it i emailed rpg hair to say okay i don't like this wig um i want to return it this that blah 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 but for a good two three weeks i was just like so like contemplating on what i should do like whether i should exchange or return because i honestly like didn't know what to do first i said i wanted to return it then i said i wanted to exchange it then i said i wanted to return and exchange like i was so indecisive and the thing is uh well the reason why was because i thought they would be like 50 pound to ship because obviously it's from china so I was there like, well, I'm not paying £50, so I may as well just keep the wig. But, like, just probably wear a headscarf with it. But I wear a headscarf with, like, everything anyway. But, yeah, so that's one reason why I was like, mm, I don't know. Um, and then another reason was because I didn't know. Basically, you could do it tracked, um, which obviously you pay 50, 40 50 pounds for. Or you can do it, like, without it being tracked, which is, like, £10. So I was just there like, mm, I could, but it could get lost in the post. You know, like when you hear about them parcels that get lost and then Basically, that would have been me missing out on my money. So I thought to myself, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I was so scared. But, you know, but then my friend said to me, you know what, like, don't do it, you know. Like, you never know what could happen. But then I was there like, mm, you know what, I may as well just do it. Um, because they gave me like this this tracking code or something i don't know because they're a business i think they knew what they were doing like that they they ended up lowering it for me because they said the um the code something price i don't know was ten dollars to ship um so i ended up paying round about that price in english money right like english currency um so yeah it was all right um and then i shipped that to china but the thing is it took about two weeks to get there reason why is because it got lost okay it didn't get lost it went to the wrong place it went to like some other place in china so then it, it had to it no it took another week to get from that place to where it was meant to be so yeah the delivery time was all right um they shipped this on the 22nd of february and it came wednesday the 28th of february so that was all right for me six days it was a bit slower than last time but I wasn't in no rush customer service I would actually say the customer service was really really good the reason why is because when I emailed them um, when when I first got my first week in January um, I emailed them they seemed nice they cooperated well they replied quite quickly obviously you have a time difference so um, they would reply like once a day but they wouldn't ignore your replies like they would answer you know 
um, they were kind, they were willing to work with me because even sometimes when I was there like you know what I'm just going to leave everything, I'll keep the wig, I'll just forget about it, you know I won't exchange, I won't return, just forget it but they were there like no it's okay, we are willing to offer this because I cut the lace and they said um, I would have to pay like a certain amount or whatever um, and basically the kind of works with me in order to lower the price of that I don't know how how exactly to explain it but they basically work with me and their customer service is really good like I wouldn't really moan about their customer service but I've seen other people on YouTube moan about how their customer service has been bad um, but for me personally they've been alright I thought they would have bad customer service just because of other reviews but you never know people are different me personally it's been alright and good uh, so yeah um, so now I'm going to go through the hair, quickly straighten it just to get it a bit straighter, try it on, cut the lace, see what I go on, let you know girl, I'm going to try it on, oh yeah this is a small size wig cap by the way, um, I already said the length of the hair and the quality, yeah so it's small, uh, the other cap that I got was medium, that was too big for me, this is small and it fits my head perfectly, the small size is like 21 inches point five. And the medium is 22.5 or something like that. So yeah, this fits me perfectly. Um, and the lace is medium brown. No. Medium brown? Medium brown or light brown? I think it's medium brown. Yes, yeah, medium brown. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and straighten this hair. And then I'll see you all after that. Went in and straightened it. Ooh. It's a bit straighter. That's literally all I wanted for it to be a bit straighter because it, it did look a bit messy at first. So yeah, here it is. Um, I did cut the lace. Um, I will add foundation or concealer to it. Um, and that's it really. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it on my head. I've got my cameras in. So you have four clips inside the cap there at the top and at the bottom so I'm literally So for some people this will look okay for me uh it's all right but i think it could like as you can see it's plucked but it, to me that just looks fake so i would wear this but at the moment i'm not too sure um oh i still have a few cameras hanging out <laughs> I just took it under and some people would use the glueless um, wig no would use the glue yeah the got to be glued or whatever you call it um, on their wig like I can't be bothered just because that's long I only wear wigs if I can't bother to do my hair or if I want my hair straight because I don't want I don't like straightening my own hair because my hair gets damaged so um as you can see I can part it in the middle but if I part it in the middle you can see that the part in is quite dark um it is quite dense as well so I think I might go and lock the part in as well yeah because to me that doesn't look natural enough um, you can part it anywhere else as it is a free part it is 360 lace so here we go um, I hope you really all enjoyed the video um, if you want to buy from their website the link will be down below um, it is quite nice hair um, 
I think I will buy from them again, um, but I won't buy yakky hair because I don't trust their yakky hair, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but the human hair, it feels nice. Um, and it's alright. So thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in my next video. Are you ready? If you give your heart to me, I'm not going to let you go. Where I'm not going to do you, Sabasa, baby.